So I made a video on how to get the helicopter almost every time, but I thought it'd be fun to update that video on how to be a better pilot. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips I've learned since then, and we'll go over some of the old ones as well. So here's a quick tip on how to be a better helicopter pilot. If you're using mouse and keyboard, go to mouse. Under advanced air vehicle sensitivity multiplier, turn it all the way up. So that's my very first tip. So once the game starts and you select the helicopter, if the numbers don't show up, one of my tips is to shake your mouse around the icon and that'll bring the numbers up. Right now they've showed up, but sometimes they don't. I always cut my chute in front of the helicopter. That way I don't slide past it. So it'd be better to cut it short and slide into it than it would be to fly over top of it. So if you look at the line and the... Let's see, there's no heli... Yeah, there is a helicopter here. So since we're going straight to it, we can jump probably as late as maybe 500. But if, say, the helicopter was at TV, you might want to jump around 800. Or if it was, say... You know, someone, so you're going for this one in port, you may want to try to jump at 800. So the closer the helicopter is to the initial line, the later you can jump out. So the numbers are up here. So we're going to pull our mouse down because we want to be at the fastest angle. We want to be at the hardest angle to go straight down. We're going to jump around 500 and jump in the 500s. Pulling our mouse straight down. We're gonna let it auto deploy and we're spamming our cut. And it looks like nobody came. I gotta got a gun fast. All right, we bring up our map, see where the helis are. There's not one downtown. So usually there is one. This building, oh, there is one here. TV station normally has one. Hospital normally has one. Port has one. Prison has one. Boneyard has one. There's usually two up here. All right, so this is what we're going for. Battle Royale. It's relatively close. I'm probably gonna probably gonna jump around 700. We jumped a little later. I'm gonna put my dot in front of it, not right on it, but in front of it. Cut my sheet. So that was a double cut. Not the best. Jack, you got it. So I was going to say too is get in the habit of using the mouse to uh... Alright, we should Enemy be able to get this guy. Oh. Use the mouse to, to pivot the rotor. Like say you've squashed somebody and you want to down them. You can swing swing the tail around like that, see? By using the mouse, not just the WASD keys. Alright, here's some money. Let's get that money. There we go. Try not to hit your tail. This guy's actually shooting at me. He's right here. I think he's out in the open. Might try to get this guy. Yeah, he is. Yep. He's an aggravating individual, I'll tell you. So he did a lot of damage there to a heli. Um, we can get a prison and get that one right now. Yeah, so also when you're landing, a lot of times it'd be safer. Get in the habit of letting go of the WASD keys and just using your down button. So mine is prone like this. And so I can still make adjustments with the mouse like this. But. If you're using the keys to do like this and go forward, you're going to damage the heli. I don't in. think there's anybody here. Here, I'll show you as I'm going down. So as I'm going down, so I let go of these keys. And I can just use my mouse to kind of rotate. And it's just easy. Oh, there is a guy here. Wow. It's heli here. 
Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Hospital's got one. Here's one. Probably gonna go for this one. Probably gonna jump right at seven right now. I may have to cut my shit twice to get it right. So it wasn't contested. I like to just scan the buildings for money. Money, 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 money. There's a little stack. Alright, so you gotta be careful on the tail. Ooh. Guy shooting my heli. Target to up. Get to work. Be the Fortunately, we don't have a gun. There's a stack of cash. There's a gun. And. That was loud footsteps, wasn't it? Sound like he was right on the same building as me. Try not to damage. See, you rotate with your mouse so that the so that the tail doesn't hit. There's a nice stack. All right, build up our map here. There's a heli here. Cry for it. There's one at hospital. There's one here as well. I need to work on my early game though. The early helicopters. Battle this one's Royale. pretty close. You've got gas closing in fast. Get right. to the safe zone. We're gonna jump around five, I think. Enemy dropping into the AO. He's ahead of me, wow. Alright, we got it, we got it. So that one was pretty difficult. Check these rooftops for money. Should be a suspicious guy. Yep. Alright, also don't put your tail out there so that they can shoot it. You know, like, you don't want a guy on the ground be able to shoot the hilly. I made that mistake plenty of times. Money, money, money. Alright, so we're doing a lot of unwanted damage to the heli, which we do not want. So I don't understand what these things are. Come on, I was all the way over here. Drop it 
to the area. Watch the skies. Battle Royale. Gas is approaching your position. Move to the safe zone. Enemy soldier incoming. Right in the 600s. I'm gonna aim like right in here. Let's see if this works. I don't know if I came for it, but it's kind of wanted to be challenged a little. Be advised, enemy team is tracking your location. One of the things you want to do when you're landing is let go of let go of like your AWS keys and just use your down key. Like when you're doing this and then you're trying to land, you'll damage the LE if the tail. Like if you're doing this and then you go to land, it'll damage the tail. So like you're going forward, just let it ease out. And then use your, I use left shift to go down because that's my prone key. So like you can still swing like this, use it with your mouse. But as you're going down, you want to let go of the AWS keys. So yeah, I'm just doing a nice smooth landing. You don't want that tail to hit. I'm just picking up money. Looking for stiff. Yeah, we'll throw that there just for fun. So the last tip for you is missile redirect. And so many times I have my teammates are in the helicopter with me, or even other people I've seen. As soon as a missile locks onto them, they all jump out. And instead of doing that, you can use the flare. So I'm going to show you the timing and the indicators to look for. First indicator is missile locking. And this one you don't have to worry about yet. Don't panic. The next one is incoming missile. And now you need to worry about that bad boy hitting you. So you'll have approximately two seconds. And then you're going to deploy your flare. Not too early, not too late. Get the timing right and the missile should pass right by. And if you can see the missile coming, that's an added benefit. This is a bad culprit. Miss me, sucker. Cause I'm too good like that, you know what I'm saying? I know how to fly this baby. So that is the video guys. I hope these tips helped out someone.